Recently, I, um, I was asked to write an article um, about the Visual Viewport API. Ooh. So usually, I, I, I thought of the viewport as basically the, the rectangle of top of your entire document, the, 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 the subsection that you can see. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Good. And that was that was kind of how things started uh, on mobile yeah. as well. Like we had that, you know, the idea of a whole document and then a, a viewport, which yeah. is the bit you're, you're looking at. But what Apple decided is to um, to have this extra viewport. So when you pinch zoom in, you're now in a viewport inside the viewport. Dun dun dun. That's very Inception. -y. It, it, it is. Mob. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Server wins again. <laughs> <laughs> I think my job is done here. <laughs> so here's the thing, and this is how a lot of uh, browsers implemented it at first: is uh, like position fixed items mm -hmm. would sit uh, on the viewport, right? If you uh, if you position something fixed oh, top, okay. it sits, uh, you know. Wherever you do that on the viewport, so you're scrolling oh, along. So if it stays you zoom fixed. in, it would still stick to the top. Instead it of gets bigger, and uh, you know, and eventually uh. you can't. You, your position fixed items, if you have them, Just are now taking up right the whole screen. And this is something that I think uh, Apple pioneered is the idea of, of adding uh, multiple viewports. Okay. Uh, and, and the names we've given them is the layout viewport, is the outer one, and that's okay. what's. That's kind of the outer scroll viewport of the, the document. Mm -hmm. That's where the position fixed items will, will stick to. And when you pinch zoom in, you're now in uh, the visual viewport. OK. So it doesn't mean, though, that a layout viewport only moves vertically. Because no, you can, can still have a layout well. that is wider than your layout viewport. So Absolutely. you can still move both directions. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, OK. You can think of the layout viewport as being uh, the same as the visual viewport when you're zoomed out as far as you can go. One of the problems that a lot of mobile browsers had is they couldn't decide which uh, viewport the value should be for. So one of these ones is um, get bounding client rect. Oh, that right? yes, I see. That would be a problem, because usually those are the coordinates of the rectangle of the object that you're calling that function on. On screen, but now on screen, uh -huh. right? Right, and most browsers agreed that that was going to be to the layout viewport, so pinch zooming I would tend didn't to matter. Agree. Right, but then most browsers also agreed that scroll top would mean the, l the visual viewport. Really? Right. Yeah. Hmm. Exactly. And this had a, this. I would have seen that the visual viewport is like a complete abstract. It's a layout. Viewport implies layout, and then the visual viewport is just basically a visual trimming of whatever you laid out. Exactly, and that's what that's what browsers are now trying to do. Yes, they're trying to get to. Yes, you've you've come up with the correct answer. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're too late. Other people already got there <laughs> and are implementing it. And this is kind of an agreement between uh, Chrome and Apple, and yeah. so Mozilla are agreeing as well. So one of the things you would do with get bounding client rect is you didn't want that position within the viewport. You wanted the position within the document. I was just about to say, and then you need sc both scroll top and get bounding client rec to be layout viewport, because then you can just add the two up right. and find the position within the document, which is super important, which I just recently ran into, because sometimes you want an element to detach from however it's laid out and position it absolutely but relative to the document. Right, because you want to do then an do animation or exactly, something. Exactly, and that's where you need to be able to do that kind of math. I guess if we had chosen the other way, it's all relative to the visual viewport, we would have probably added some calls to get to do the calculations in there. Right. But that's unnecessarily complicated, so I'm really happy they went that way. But the web is full of this code now that, that is doing that, you know, uh, get bounding client rec plus scroll yeah. top, which breaks as soon oh, yeah, as you pinch zoom in. Yes, true. Oh, yeah, we would have broken the web. Yeah, exactly. So this this is going to th this move to making everything the layout viewport is actually starting to fix existing code, which is really nice. Nice, yeah. So the idea is, is like like you say, make the pinch zooming thing pretty much entirely transparent, like yeah. not something that is reflected in any web APIs. Um, is it exposed in any way? Though, like, can I figure out if the user is zoomed in? So that's what the visual viewport API is for. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, that is what the visual viewport API is for. And it is basically the, the, the idea is that this is going to be the only place where that is exposed. And it will tell you the position and scale of the visual viewport relative to the layout viewport. I think, I think one of the things that would be useful for is, is when the user zooms in, get rid of all of the position fixed stuff. Because that is yeah. kind of getting in the way. Unless that is what the user is zooming in on, in which case that will be annoying. Like, I mean, it just now landed, so I'm assuming some best practice and explorations are going to start happening soon around that. Yeah, and I, I think it's one of those um, extensible web things where it's yeah. like, it's information we have. We should be giving developers it. And, and you can use it if you with. need it. If not, everything's just going to behave the same right. or better now, I guess. Yeah, and, and even just something like analytics. So you could you know, find out where your users are pinch zooming. You might find on one particular page everyone's pinch zooming in. So you can then go and investigate and go, yeah. oh, yeah, these buttons aren't great or something. So yeah, yeah, yeah that would yeah. be one way. But yeah, that's, that's the visual viewport. And this is something that I think uh, Apple pioneered, is the idea of, of adding uh, multiple viewports. Apple pioneered? <laughs> so, I had to do it. I had so to do it. <laughs>